Hello everybody, welcome to Monday. It's speed and pole vault today. Just uh, in the middle of my warm up. I'm talking really quickly because I'm kind of late, so I really have to do this intro really quickly. So this is the intro. Run the intro video. And yeah, um, like I said, we have speed today. So that's our speed. So I don't have to like write it on the, uh, while editing, that's our speed. Um, so I'm gonna continue with my warm up. This was pretty good. Um, that's Sean Baudouin. I'm not too sure if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know if it's Baudin or Baudouin. Um, he goes to, or he went to Windsor and now he's going to Guelph. Or he went to Windsor, went to Guelph, and now he's just training. So he's up here training with me for a bit. Um, so speech felt pretty good. Um, there's a bunch of people looking at me right now and it's really awkward. Hamstrings were feeling a little bit tight, so I didn't pole vault. Um, I might pole vault on Wednesday or just kind of wing it on Saturday, going from like seven lefts. So we don't really know what we're gonna do. Um, this week's a hard week, so Wednesday would be a recovery, but yeah, we'll see kind of how it goes. And yeah, now heading home, uh, get some food into me. I'm gonna take an Epsom salts bath tonight, try to loosen up the hamstrings. Wow, this is such a good quality chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, really though, I was like scared every time I used to sit on it. So thanks for being a handyman. I will say that um, since becoming homeowners, I have learned that Taylor is a lot handier than I ever thought that he was. I underestimated him. I'm sorry. You heard it here first. Not sure if I've said this before. If you have a pop addiction like myself, Soda Stream. Soda Stream. Changes lives. Okay, I know. I keep. I know. I know. It's really hard when it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't like pop so much for the sugar as I like the fizz. So, Soda Stream. Do it. Do it. 
and I'm not trying to sound like, oh, I'm so healthy, because um, this weekend I also had like six pieces of cheesecake. So. She's not lying. <laughs> there actually was it's six pieces. It's not an exaggeration. It was six pieces. Um, but I do what I want, when I want, how I want to do it. On that note, had a great little speed sesh today. I was going to use today as the um, determinant of whether or not I'm going to run a 60 this weekend at Western's uh, Bob Figures meet. I'm going to do it. Yeah, did some blocks, which was different. Um, oh, I thought it so the word of the year, I guess, they were saying on the radio is, they said it as com complicit. Isn't complacent. It? Yeah. No, but they say complicit. Maybe complicit's a word. I don't know. I tried, then I tried to, okay, Google it. Okay, Google. Complicit. It doesn't know your voice. Complicit. Here are some matching news articles. No, not complacent. Complicit. Yeah. Let me, let me do it the old fashioned way. Google. <laughs> complicit. Complicit. Involved with others in an illegal activity or wrongdoing. Oh, no, that's. Complicit. Huh. Complicit is a word. Now you know. Yeah, word of the year. For those of you who don't know, we train in a hockey arena or a figure skating arena. We train in an arena. Yeah. <laughs> um, and been here since 2010. Had a few close calls with getting hit by a puck, but today was the first time a puck came over the boards and hit my body. It was my hamstring and it wasn't too hard, so I don't want to like make it too dramatic, but still, what if that hit me in the face? Be careful. If you're a Western hockey player, be careful. Also, if you could look both ways before you cross the track, that'd be great too, <laughs> but we won't get into that. Bye. Did you already sign off? <laughs> Did you already sign off earlier? No, I said I was going to cut it off, but you're just like, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>